altered rim vase with some splatter marks on it. And it's another altered rim. I tried to do a lighter color glaze to kind of show the lines out more, but kind of came out looking clear. It's not bad. And some bottles. Funny how on one side of this bottle it I glazed it all evenly, but it must have been whatever it was next to made it fade on that side. And a little round pot. It's, it's interesting. All those drips. The blue sitting in those lines is, came out nice. This really makes it clear where the lines were cut out. And one more of those. <coughs> nice drippy green bowl. Let's see, it's all the same glaze, but just where it was dipped with an extra layer there. Looks pretty cool. And one more mug. That one really had some flaking problems. Another shelf come out. And then some more two more refired sun bowls. This is um, back from that the last video I did where the, the underglaze came out kind of faded. I just ordered some some underglazes that are made to be used at cone five, so that should should help out get brighter effects with that. And this bowl. Put, I think, three leaves in. You can kind of only see the one on the side. Well, I know what I did to this one. Uh, this, I brushed um, green underglaze around the leaves. That's why that one stands out so much. And I guess this top coat. Um, was thinner here, so you can see that one leaf there, but it was too thick on the other two leaves, so you can just make them out. And a cream bowl. More of that, um, that low fire glaze around there. And more leaf bowls. You can barely see the leaf. And a tiered bowl. More low fire. It's a, a neat um kind of cranberry color where it touches the, the green glaze. And it's always, for some reason when I do this color combination, it always comes out much 
greener on the bottom outside and a softer green on the inside even though it's all the same same glaze one more Just another another little bowl leaf bowls. Way too many of these without any black glaze outlining the leaf. It's not good. more of these. It's a fun color combination. One more shell. Another tiered bowl. Came out very, um, this glaze is always pretty matte, but this on the bottom shelf came out really satiny and soft looking. Something about the um, maybe because it's cooler at the bottom makes these these matte glazes come out much differently at the bottom than at the top of the kiln. Sorry, just cut myself on that. Kiln shelf. <laughs> Not bleed all over the kiln here. Lovely. Um, well that came out really neat. That low fire glaze again. Yeah, there was a, a shard on a kiln shelf, and when they started to fall, I grabbed it in the wrong spot. Just a few little tiny little bowls. Oh wow. Not really stony looking. That's the agate color. It pulled away a little bit. Neat little bowl. Pretty cool. And that's it. I need to go bandage up my thumbnail. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya.